So anyways, what brought you out to this event tonight? Uh, well, the event supports women getting back onto the workforce and um, I'm the daughter of a, of a mother who was a single mom struggling on welfare in the South Bronx and I saw an organization such as Dress for Success support her, get her back on her feet, get her back into the workforce and never look back. And so it meant so much to me that my mom got that and, and it was a great example for me to like how to like pick yourself up by the bootstraps and you know maybe you don't like what's happening but you can still make a change for the for the good and, and so that's why I'm here. I want to show my support. It means a lot to me. It helped me as a kid and I'm hoping to um, maybe use my influence to help others. Yeah, it worked. You're doing amazing. Go mom for being yes. a good influence. Absolutely. And what has Jane the Virgin taught you about sisterhood? Either actually being a part of the cast or maybe the storyline? Um, well, that uh, there's always room for everyone and there's no competition and the more that we as women have each other's backs um, and don't look at each other as um, sort of like the competition, the better off we are. The more we encourage each other, inspire each other, support each other, the stronger we will all be. And so that's what I've learned from working on Jane the Virgin. What's your biggest piece of advice for an aspiring actress or just really an aspiring professional in general? I think for any perspiring, you can someone who's like totally sweating. It's and not live. <laughs> you can just start it I love it. You should keep it. That's, that was, that's great. Any aspiring professional should educate themselves and never stop educating themselves. That's what I think, um, and, and I as an actor, I'm always looking for an opportunity to be a better actor. How can I be better? For example, I produced a play this summer and I performed in it in New York City and um, that was just like getting back to the basics of theater and, and, and where I started in acting and it was a true education to so be producing and performing and so education is the key. And the hashtag tonight is Year of the Woman. What do you think this upcoming year is going to bring for women? Wow. Um, I think this year is going to bring um, more women leaders. I think uh, it was very clear during the presidential campaign um, that that is what we need. And we need to uh, inspire people and give them the opportunity to be leaders. And when I say people, I mean women. <laughs> and lastly, what is your definition of empowerment? Hmm. Confidence. Uh, what's my definition? I don't even know if I can even say it in one word, but. Simple and so true though. Confidence is everything. Confidence is everything. But you know what's so funny? When I produced the play, I was very doubtful of myself and my abilities. and having taken on something so big that I had never done before and I was actually quite scared um, but at the end of it I felt so empowered and it was because I got out of my comfort zone and I stretched myself and I learned more about myself I educated myself I, I, I proved to myself that I could take on a big project and survive and actually knew more than I thought I did um, so that empowered me to like be more confident and, and courageous and want to go for more things that are not necessarily in my comfort zone. Yeah, sometimes it's taking action even when you don't feel confident, when you feel scared to death. I have a, a quote that I, I have on my laptop. It says, action cures fear. And yes, I, I, I walk around with a lot of fear. People never believe me. But in, spite of my, well. in spite of my fear, I push, I push and I, I go for things that I'm not necessarily comfortable with. And, and it usually turns out to be uh, the right thing to do. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're such an inspiration. It was Thank so you. good to meet you. Thank you.